A group of cells that are similar in structure and that work together to achieve a particular function forms a tissue. Plants are stationary and so some of the tissues they have are dead cells which provide mechanical strength. These are the different types of plant tissues, meristematic and permanent tissues. Look at how this plant is growing month by month. This is due to a special type of tissue called meristematic tissue. These tissues are rapidly dividing tissues. Plant growth occurs only at those points where these tissues are present, the tips of the stem and the root. Meristematic cells are living, cubical and thin-walled. Each cell has a large nucleus. Cells are closely packed with no intercellular spaces. Depending on the region where they are present, Meristematic tissues are classified as apical, lateral and intercalary. Apical meristem is present at the apical or growing tips of stems and roots. It increases the length of the plant. Lateral meristem or cambium is present in the radial portion of the stem or root. It increases the girth of the plant. Intercalary meristem occurs at the base of the leaves or at the internodes. It helps to increase the length of the internode. What eventually happens to these meristematic tissues? Old meristematic cells lose the capacity to divide and transform into permanent tissues. This process of taking up a permanent shape, size and function is called differentiation. Permanent tissues can be simple or complex depending upon their structure and function. Look at the stem of the plant. What tissue is the stem made of? Stem is made of the tissue parenchyma. Parenchyma consists of elongated living cells with a thin cell wall made of cellulose. These cells are polygonal in shape and have a large central vacuole. They also have intercellular spaces between them. They are found loosely packed with unspecialized cells. Parenchyma forms the ground tissue in the central cortex and the peripheral pith of stems and roots. In leaves, they contain chloroplasts and are called chloranchyma, which help in photosynthesis. In aquatic plants, parenchyma is, cells contain large air cavities that help in buoyancy and are called aerenchyma. Parenchyma is, cells in fruits and vegetables are filled with starch which help in food storage. Let's take a look at another simple permanent tissue, the colenchyma. Colenchyma consists of elongated living cells with cell walls made of cellulose and pectin. These cells have irregularly thickened at the corners and have little intercellular spaces. They occur in the peripheral regions of stems, below the epidermis in leaf stalks, leaf midribs and also in herbaceous dicot stems. Colenchyma tissues provide mechanical support and flexibility in plants. Here is another type of simple permanent tissue that's sclerenchyma. These are long, 
narrow cells with no intercellular spaces. Sclerenchyma consists of dead cells with lignin deposited in their cell wall. They occur in the vascular tissues of stems, veins of leaves and in the covering of seeds and nuts. These tissues provide strength to the plant. What are complex permanent tissues? Complex permanent tissues are made of more than one type of cells that coordinate together to perform a common function. These are of two types, namely xylem and phloem. Let's explore the different components of the xylem. Tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. Tracheids are tubular dead cells. They transport water. Their cell wall is made of lignin which provides mechanical support. Vessels are elongated dead cells with pits that transport water and minerals. They are usually present in big trees. Xylem parenchyma cells are living and they store food. Xylem fibers are elongated dead cells with lignin that provide mechanical support. Let's now look at the different elements of phloem. Sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Sieve tubes are elongated living cells with perforated walls. They transport sugar or food from the leaves to the stem and the roots. Companion cells are small, elongated and help in conduction of food. Slow and parenchyma store and transport food. Phloem fibers are thick-walled. Elongated dead cells which provide mechanical support. Another type of tissue that is very important for plants is the protective tissue. They protect plants from the surroundings. Protective tissues include epidermis and cob. Epidermis is the outermost protective layer of roots. Stems and leaves. It is one cell thick and covered with a waterproof layer called cuticle. These cells are continuous, flat and have no intercellular spaces. The epidermis is perforated by the presence of stomata at certain places. Stomata are surrounded by guard cells and help in gaseous exchange and loss of water. Epidermal cells of the root bear hair-like things that help in absorption. As the plant grows older, secondary meristems replace the outer protective tissue. This outermost layer in older roots and stems is called cork. Cork cells are dead and lack intercellular spaces. Cell walls are thickened by suberin, which makes them impermeable to gases and water.